What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cornelia, back for another episode of Black News, a podcast where we break down current events, hot topics, and local stories involving Black people. Now let's get into it. All right, we keeping it short and sweet this episode, y'all. And I know I say that every week and it ended up being about 35 minutes long. Okay, I understand what I'm doing. I recognize the misstep and the misspeaking, uh, but this week I'm serious. Um, Keeping it short and sweet, y'all. Got some good topics I want to get into, but first, continued um, thanks for the support. Also, the Flex Zone All In podcast is available on YouTube. The last episode with Chris Spencer is on there. He dropped a lot of good gems, especially and particularly about working in the entertainment business on the writing side. So if you are an aspiring writer, entertainer, check that out because he had a lot of good nuggets that uh, people really need to tap into. Also shows in Atlanta this weekend, back in LA after that, continuing to do shows and um, and be on stage uh, locally. So website canelia.com for more details all right with that said let's get into it we all know that in relationships things can be tough we also know that we the public don't know everything that's going on in someone's relationship we know what y'all give us and we just assume as the public we do a really raggedy job of assuming because we hear something and we gonna take it and run with it. With that said, we, the public knew that Nia Long was engaged to M.A. Udoka, who is the coach for the Boston Celtics, former NBA player. We know that they have a child together. We know that she has been going back and forth. She was on the sidelines for the Boston game. And y'all know Boston, one of the most racist places in America. So you got Nia Long in Boston. Hey, to me, sound like she loved him. Okay. Sound like she loved him. We assumed everything was going well. We assume that because these two beautiful people have gotten together, that it is all fun and games, roses and sunshines. Apparently that is not the case. M.A. Udoka received a one year suspension from the Boston Celtics organization for the entirety of 2022-2023 for violating franchise rules. This is coming on the wake or the heels of reports that he had involvement in an improper consensual relationship with the female member of the team's staff. Now let me say this. It seemed to take a lot to get suspended in professional sports. We see all kind of stuff. Old boy who got suspended, the owner of the Phoenix Suns for saying the N-word being, uh, uh, I think some sexually sexual harassment towards women. It was a lot of stuff going on with that. One year suspension, $10 million fine, I believe. So for M.A. to, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, and after what he did, I don't care. Okay, Whatever he did to get this type of suspension, it sounds like it's worse than just some cheating. Now, rumors have been flying around, speculation. People been dropping pictures of alleged staff members that he could have been sleeping with. We don't know any specifics around who what, but it's a lot of chatter. And I'm on, let me preface this. I am on Black News just telling what people saying. I don't know the truth. I, I'm just delivering it. Don't come for me. Don't be like, can you just say it? I'm just reporting back a hodgepodge of information to see what we can come up with. Okay. Now, first, like I said, people get suspended all the time. So for this to be that type of uh, suspension, it seems really bad to me. It seems like it could be more than just cheating and having a relationship Could it be the person he had the relationship with was high up? Could it be something happened? Maybe, I don't, I don't know. That's a lot. And apparently our good sis Nia Long didn't know about any of this until the reports dropped that he was being suspended. So she was completely blindsided. Now let's back up a little bit. 
people get cheated on men and women and people always be like well she's so beautiful how could this happen what, what was what's the deal then you got the other side of she probably was doing this blah, blah. it could be many different things just because somebody's attractive doesn't mean they're good in a relationship one and that could be man or woman just because someone is publicly in a relationship doesn't mean that we know the terms of their relationship just because they're your favorite and are talented, that doesn't mean that they are exempt from cheating. Just because you get cheated on doesn't mean that you yourself did something to deserve it. Because let me tell you something, and this applies to both men and women, and I'm excuse the language, but niggas gone nigga, okay? Niggas gone nigga. Bleep that out if you want. And that could be man or woman, any demographic. From personal experience, let me add this. And this could not necessarily be the case in this situation. But some of these athletes, some of these basketball dudes, they be high maintenance. They be high maintenance. We just don't know scenarios. It could, Nia Long shoots movie she just shot, the Best Man series. I'm assuming she was away from her family for extended periods of time. For some people, when you are used to being the bad bitch in your genre, meaning your profession and in your life, you an athlete, you, you attractive, you used to people being available for you when and where and how you need them. In this case, I'm going to assume that Nia Long don't got the schedule for that to, ne- to happen. So maybe that, maybe that was, maybe something like that. Like you ain't, I need somebody here. Maybe it's ego. Maybe it's like, oh shoot, I'm a coach now. I only averaged five points a game back when I was hooping. Now I'm somebody again. Let me go out here and be grimy. Or it could have been, maybe they had a, a agreement. Maybe he could do what he wanted to do and it, it was no big deal. I'm going to say that last one is not the case because Nia Long released a statement basically saying she ain't had no idea this was happening. Please pray for her. Per her, she says, the outpouring of love and support from family, friends, and the community during this difficult time means so much to me. I ask that my privacy be respected as I process the recent events. Above all, I am a mother and will continue to focus on my children. Hey, sound like she ain't know to me. Sound like she ain't know. But... From my perspective, again, for this to a, a one year suspension, that had to be bad because people in the NBA, the NFL, the major league, MLB, the NHL, they cheat all the time. People sleep with each other. They sleep with coaches. They sleep with the cheerleaders. They sleep with the staff. They sleep with people in front office. They sleep with people at the concession stands. It don't matter. The dude in the mascot, he probably getting some too. So it probably had to be wild. There was one report that I read where they said the husband of the woman who was cheating with, with M.A., he found out off a recording on his ring doorbell camera. Talk, y'all talk about random. Imagine you out here doing your dirt. You really think you getting to it. Like, yeah, I'm about to cheat. I'm about to go get it in. And your husband be like, yo, come, come sit by me. And you sit by him. He pull up his phone. You think maybe he going to show you a funny, a video on Instagram or TikTok. He pull up the playback of the ring camera and it's you getting it in or talking about getting it in with your secret lover. Mm, mm -mm. Y'all, and again, I'm just speculating. I don't know what's true. Also to note though, Matt Barnes, who is no stranger to cheating and no stranger to drama. See addendum referencing his ex-wife and Derek Fisher, but. Matt jumped out there on social media and was like, yo, this is ridiculous. People do crazy stuff all the time in the league. One year is excessive. It's, you know, something ain't right. It's contradictory. I ain't really, I I don't get, I can't get behind it. He immediately took the video down, reposted another video and said, yeah, guys, somebody called me and gave me some backstory and some more information. The situation is actually as is messier than we all thought. There's more parties involved and I can't get behind what went down. So I retract what I said. Hey, it it is more than what we think. So with that, 
we gonna go with Mr. Barnes. We just gonna stand by and wait to see what it is. But what are y'all speculations? Because again, y'all know, look, professional sports, they don't be suspending nobody. They let you do all kind of stuff. And if this were the NFL, they would have gave them an award. But it's not. What do y'all think went down? What do y'all think the next steps should be? Do y'all think one year was excessive? Or are we just going to wait for the facts like everybody else to play out? And will we ever find out what really happened? Technically, it ain't our business. They put it out in the news with the suspension. So now we're going to speculate. But mm, we just have to wait and see. Hit me up with y'all thoughts. Let me know on social media at Canelia. Rihanna Fenty, a.k.a. Bad Gal Riri, a.k.a. Billionaire Riri Rihanna, the Rihanna Fenty will be coming out of what we seem to deem as retirement would it feel like retirement and abandonment low key and she'll be performing at the upcoming Super Bowl that takes place in Arizona in 2023 what y'all y'all they done got Rihanna out they done got Rihanna out they Jay-Z done pulled Rihanna up out from getting money he done pull Jay-Z done made the call and said, Hey, hey, man, hey, hey, man, hey, listen, we need you. We need you to perform at Super Bowl on the heels of the likes of Beyonce, Madonna, Michael Jackson, Prince, Bruno Mars, Calvin Harris. Was it Calvin Harris? Mm. All of the all of the legends. We need you. We need you. I'm so excited. Y'all know I don't be fooling with the NFL. Y'all know I don't be fooling with the NFL. I don't like how the National Football League has profited and benefit off the backs of black men d- giving themselves brain damage for the sake of these teams and these franchises to continuously make money and then leaving them abandoned to just deal with the wreckage on their own. I I've made a clear stand in that. I do not like that. However, I'm a watch me a Super Bowl halftime show. I'm a catch a game if it's on, if it's a reason why I'm watching it. If it's a good matchup, if it's the actual Super Bowl game, I clock in. I watched last year with Dr. Dre Presents, which featured 50 Cent, Eminem, Mary J. Blige. Who else? Snoop Dogg. It was a good time. This should be fantastic as well. I can't wait. I'm so hyped. They announced that she will be performing. She posted a picture on her Instagram of her hand holding a football. And we know Rihanna hand because she got the tattoos. We know the Rihanna tattoos. And the internet exploded. I can't wait. Now, a couple things. First, do this mean Rihanna going to start making music again? I'm not of the school of, you got to get back in the studio. While I do miss her dropping hits, I understand she is in a different era in her life. She is a billionaire. Making music at this point, that shit probably a hobby. She don't have to make music. She's a billionaire. Fenty Beauty, Fenty Lingerie Savage Fenty, all of these endeavors making her some coin. This girl ain't got to perform no more. Y'all can listen to them old Spotify uh, playlists. You can dig up them old albums. It's fine. They still, they still bop. But I'm wondering, one, is this going to trigger her to come back? Because I'm assuming... She's doing this. She got to drop some new music. Two, who is she going to bring out? Because if you know, the only people as of late that hadn't brought anybody out, I don't think Beyonce brought anybody. Scratch that. And yes, she did. She had Destiny's Child. So Rihanna got features with a lot of people. Is this going to be the first time we see Jay-Z at Super Bowl? She could do Run This Town. She can do some old, some Drake hits, Calvin Harris, Kanye West, Jeezy, Nicki Minaj, T.I., Eminem. Rihanna got hits. She has features. She has dance tracks. She got reggae. She got pop. She got R&B. She got gritty rock, like rap uh, 
focused or centric, centric, whatever y'all know what I'm trying to say. She has a variety of different songs. This look, this little 10 minute set going to be j- j- jamming. It's honestly too going to be hard to pick because when you have a lot of number ones, such as her, what do you pick in a, in, in some, for something like this? Do you do umbrella? Do you do, we found love. Do you do diamonds? Do you do so hard? Like I said, run this town. The one with Eminem, love the way you like, like, what are you going to do? Regardless of what she does, I'm going to be in the building and not in the stadium. Cause I'm not buying no, no Super Bowl tickets. I'm going to be at home on the couch, but I'm excited. Super Bowl takes place in Glendale, Arizona, February 12th, 2022. Our good sis got time to get the show together. I can't wait. And honestly, I feel like this just kicking off like, like just a dope season because I'm going to talk into existence right after that. Beyonce going to drop or announce that she's going on tour and then the ticket's going to be on sale. We're going to be doing, we're going to be singing Renaissance all summer. I've got to be there. But let me know y'all thoughts. Are y'all excited about it as I am? Are you fans of Rihanna? Are you excited to see her come back? I know one thing. I hope she don't bring ASAP Rocky because I'm not interested in seeing him perform on stage at the Super Bowl. That's just between. That's just between us. But hit me up. Let me know what y'all thought about that overall. Like I said, are you as excited as I am and which songs you predict she's going to sing? Hit me up and let me know. All right, to recap this week's episode, we talked about the Nia Long saga. And by Nia Long saga, I know the actual events are surrounding her fiance, Ime Udoka. But I feel for my good sisters, I'm sure you guys do as well. So we are going to wrap our arms around her in this trying time due to her fiance's cheating allegations and him being suspended from the Boston Celtics for one year. We also talked about Rihanna and her official comeback performing at the 2023 Super Bowl, which will take place in Arizona. She will be tapping in and stepping back on stage and giving us a spectacular halftime performance. With that, let me know what you thought about these topics and any others we might have discussed on the podcast. Hit me up. Besides that, I'll see you guys back here same time next week. That's it for this week's episode of Black News, y'all. Thanks again. Thank you. And thank you again so much for sticking with us, supporting the podcast, liking and subscribing on all apps where podcasts can be heard, rating five stars and leaving a comment. It helps more than you know. So I really, really appreciate it. And keep sharing Black News with all of your friends and family. Be sure to hit me up on social media if you got ideas for topics. Or just hit me up in general to let me know you've been listening. Let me know your thoughts. I'm at Canelia on all platforms across the board. That's at Canelia like Kenny and Ophelia. Also check my website. I got some shows coming up in a Los Angeles County. Hopefully get on the road soon. But for now, if you're in the LA area, hit me up. Check Canelia.com for show dates and details. And as always, thanks again so much guys i hope you have a fantastic week keep supporting keep growing keep building keep staying safe and keep staying healthy as always again i'll see you back here next time same time same place bye